Hello everybody, welcome back. This is the finale of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Princess uh, Zelda here is pretty worried about something. Look at her like, uh, let's talk to her. I've actually never done this. What is that sound? I don't know, let's go find out. Oh god, take off the iron boots first, you dimwit. You're stupid. Alright, here we go. Let's see what the hell's going on here. What the heck, cutscene. What? Burning fire again? Why can't Zelda ever help? Oh, look who it is. It's Ganon. I thought he was dead. Oh, he has the Triforce now, so he's all cool and powerful. <laughs> Uh-oh. Holy cow, this does not look easy. Oh, great. Now I don't even have a sword? What the hell, man? There's no way he's going to hold me back again. This time we fight together. Oh, yeah, because you're going to do so much. Look, at he looks so tall there. And then watch this. He's like three inches taller than me. All right, so technically you're not supposed to have a weapon, but, you know, I got a big Goron sword, so I'm using that crap. Now, I don't know if you wanted me to not use the big Goron sword or the master, whatever. You beat this guy without using the master sword and use like the bombs and all those other items but I had somebody else who said that they have trouble with this battle and I don't know if they have the big Goron sword but really the technique that I like to use is roll under his legs and then whack the, just start swinging at his tail and all, half the time you can run in circles like this and just roll under his legs whack his tail you can hit it a few times and most of the time he's too stupid to even you know try to spin around quick enough so you can't stay behind him. Like, look at this. I'm just running in circles. Will it go around in circles? Will it fly high like a bird up in the sky? I think that's how the lyrics go. It's a song. Alright. There we go. Yeah, so this is really the only... This is the best bet. If you don't... You know, if you have to not use the big Goron sword, um, what you can do is I think you can stun him by using light arrows. And then you can go behind with like the Megaton Hammer and smack the crap out of it, which is actually a pretty good idea. I feel like that might actually do a lot of damage. But there's been, I can beat this battle without even taking a hit because it's that easy using this method. Now I, I can see if you don't have the big Goron sword, it might be a pain in the butt, but look at this. He's already almost dead. Practice the Master Sword is here, hurry up. Did anybody notice that he had a pig nose too? That's probably why, maybe now you'll understand why I put that song in right there. Because he has this mass, massive pig nose. What is she telling me to do? Use the Master Sword. Destroy Ganon with the Sacred Sword. Where is he? Oh, he's way over here. Alright. What you doing, Ganon? Oh, I, already, I got a free hit on you again. Oh, I took a hit. Dang. I was so close to going flawless. Oh, I took another one. I thought I was behind him. Dang it. So now when I use the Master Sword, it starts messing me up. Stupid Master Sword. Some almighty powerful sword you are. Actually, I want to try to hit him with a lighter. Let's see what that does. Ah, it does stun him. So that's easy. Oh man, you can get a jump A in on him if you do that. I'm going to do this for now, actually. I'm going to beat him like this. Bam! Oh, he blocked that one. I like using this. This is cool. So here's how you do it. <laughs> I never beat him like that before. I just did what I've been doing the entire time. Look at that pig nose. Ew, he's so disgusting. Whoa, look at Zelda. What is she doing? She's just hammering him with magical light. I'm using my power to hold the evil king. You use your sword and deliver the final blow. This is such a fun battle, though. I, I, if, you haven't, if you guys haven't experienced this battle in a video game, it is so much fun. Look at Link, he's like, what the hell? Did you see how big his eyes got right there? This is hysterical. Alright, watch this. That is so freaking sweet. He just stabbed him right in that big honker of his. Now he's just swaying, flailing around. Six sages, now! Oh! <laughs> 
Why does she get on her knees after that? I don't know. Ancient creators of Hyrule. Now, open the sealed door and send the evil incarnation of darkness into the void of the evil realm. Oh, here they all are. Since we missed them. Uh-oh. He's gonna go. Ganon's done. Ganon is done for. There is no more Ganon. Holy cow. Holy. Oh man, they're sucking him in right now. They're sucking him in. Oh man, this is one of my favorite parts. You! Curse you, Zelda! Curse you, sages! Curse you, practice! Ah! Look at that face! Someday, when the seal is broken, I'm gonna come and beat your fucking ass! No, you're not. That is when I will exterminate your descendants! Fuck you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to use the bleep right there. I am not leaving that in. I'm trying to clean up my LP act. As long as the Triforce of Power is in my hand. What about it? As long as it's in your hand. What, what does that mean? What does that mean? What the heck? We're floating. We're walking on air. We'll be walking on air. Walking on air. Sooner or later. <laughs> It's a moody blues song, if anybody cares. Thank you, Practice. Thanks to you, Ganondorf has been sealed inside the evil realm. Thus, peace will once again reign in this world, for a time. Oh. Sequel? Sequel? <laughs> All the tragedy that has befallen Hyrule was my doing. I was so young, I could not comprehend the consequences of trying to control the sacred realm. Way to go. I dragged you into it, too. Now it is time for me to make up for my mistakes. Take off your pants. You must lay on me. You must lay your master sword to rest in me and close the door of time. Oh my god. Pardon me. Gosh. I'm just trying to have some fun here. However, by doing this, the road between times will be closed. Practice. Give the ocarina to me. As a sage, I can return you to your original time with it. Why? I like having a piercing. <laughs> I like having an 8-inch dick opposed to a 4-inch dick. Come on, Zelda. Do you really have to make me small again? She doesn't want to. She's sad. When peace returns to Hyrule, it will be time for us to say goodbye. Now go home, practice. Regain your lost time. Home, where you are supposed to be. The way you are supposed to be. Wait, is Majora's Mask my lost time? I don't know. Guess we'll have to find out soon. I don't know, man. These cut This cutscene... God. I hate cutscenes sometimes. Like, the end of games... They make me, like, sad so much because it's especially this game like this game was my childhood in a sense you know this was like young these were the good old days you know when you didn't have much to worry about life was awesome just the good old days and you were younger and it just makes you feel like you realize you're getting older and all that stuff and it's just what the hell happened to my recording there we go okay it froze up for a second I'm gonna say this is bullshit and I'm not dealing with this crap right now so now we got the uh now we got the credits, so... Well, man, I can't believe it's over. This has been a year. A year, basically. I I started working on this thing, you know, before this time last year, and it's insane. Today's March 1st. I think I was starting Kirby Return to Dreamland right now, but oh my god. It's so weird to have this game finally done. And it's also really disappointing. Like, when I first started my LP career, um, 
This was one of the games that I wanted to do so bad, but I didn't want to do it until I had a decent following. And uh, I had a decent following, you know, and then I kind of ruined it for myself be be by going like really inactive. But, you know, I'm happy that I got this done. I'm happy that I did what I did with it, except for this, <laughs> this end here with this corrupt file stuff. But uh, I want to let you guys know right now, when we do Majora's Mask, I plan to stay on top of that. Unlike this, I want to do videos daily. I want to have this a smooth LP. I want to have the annotations all updated the day I post the videos. I want to stay on top of it. I don't want to be lazy. I gotta stay. I'm gonna try my best to stay on top of it so I keep giving you guys content daily. And I, I just that's what I want to do. And I'm gonna do my best to actually do that. But this music, uh, these cutscenes or these uh, credits, always man. Like, this game specifically remember, reminds me of a time in my life that was when I was in second grade, second and third grade, and I don't know, like, everything was good. We were doing a lot of stuff, you know, we did a lot of traveling. I was in gymnastics, so we got to travel during that. Um, and I had, like, the best group of friends in my neighborhood, and we used to do all sorts of stuff, and we'd always play this game. Like, all of us were playing it at the same time. We'd help each other out in it. So this game just leads to memories, which leads to more memories, which leads to more memories. And it also like makes you, I don't know, it's weird. It takes you back in time, which is why I love playing video games like this. Because it brings back all that old stuff. But at the same time, it sucks to realize you're getting older. And then the older you get, and the more you continue on going and aging, the more you start to realize, you know, life isn't unlimited it ends eventually and I don't like that's gotten me depressed a few times <laughs> it's weird I think to myself you know I'm 20 right now 21 right now I'm ever I'm thinking I'm gonna get to about 80 that means I already have a quarter of my life gone but needless to say that was that's these last 21 years have been a long 21 years when you actually think about it and not only that they've been one hell of a great batch of 21 years so I mean if I still got an easy 40 healthy years left there's a lot of what the hell is that guy doing upside down what the hell oh look at these goons but as I was saying man 40 years that's a lot of time I'd be 60 then that's I mean 40 years is a long amount of time so I think like that and then I'm like you know what why even bother there's a lot of stuff I can do hey look at that's Malin singing her little heart out Ah, a bunch of people from the uh, the different market areas, the town, Kakariko. There's the cuckoo lady hanging out with giant Goron. I love these credits. Everybody's dancing, having a good time. I like how they use Lon Lon Ranch too. Then you got these two guys that are just kind of chilling by themselves. But they got each other, so they got buddy. They're buddies. This is kind of cool though, I like how these guys then notice like the special thing happening above. I don't know, I always kind of felt bad for him though. You see him just sitting there, they're not enjoying themselves it looks like for some reason. You know, you think like they're both sad because King Zoro, his daughter's gone, you know, he might not see her. And then you have, uh, what's his name, uh, <clears throat> God, what's, what's the guy's name? Stupid guy from Kakariko that blocks, or from Kokiri Forest that blocks the way to the great Deku tree. He, he lost Soraya, who he clearly had a crush on. But now they're all up here on Death Mountain. How cool is that? Ah, there's Hiroshi Yamauchi, or Yamauchi, my personal favorite. Yamauchi! Now what? Oh, Link's returning back to normal. This, this game has one of the best endings ever. Like, everything from the final battle to the credits to this. It's probably the greatest thing I've ever seen. So he's like, wow, I'm back to normal. It's been one hell of a journey. What's going on now? Navi's leaving me! Oh my gosh, it's so sad! Bye, Navi! This is 
so cool. And everybody, these are definite, this is definitely the same music from the end of Star Fox 64. The bells, it definitely is. I've, I've done it, the test myself. Even Nintendo Capri Sun did it. He actually put the clip in. Presented by Nintendo. God, they need to pick their crap up. They're hurting so bad right now. I don't know. They need to get games out for the Wii U. They're screwed themselves over. Hey, look, it's the courtyard of Hyrule Castle. Oh, and there's Zelda. Is it Link? Oh my god, Link's there! He snuck in again! He had to go see her. He misses her. And she's all shocked. That is just so cool. I love that ending right there. That is so neat. The Legend of Zelda. Ocarina of Time. The end. It's weird, man. It's so weird. Finishing LPs, it's just so weird. Ah, there's nothing more we can do. There's nothing more I can say. So, guys, this is it for Ocarina of Time. We are done. We've done everything I can think of. I just got to get some stuff caught up on annotating. And the LP is history. Next up is Majora's Mask. I'm going to have that up as soon as I can. I'm going to work on that right after this. I hope you guys enjoyed this LP. It's been a lot of fun. It's gone on for a long time. Holy crap, almost a whole school year. And uh, hopefully Majora's Mask won't stretch that long. And I'm looking forward to it. I love that game. So this is going to be a fun ride. Hopefully uh, you guys continue to stick around with me. I really appreciate you guys watching it and everything. And uh, dealing with my BS of lack of posting. I'll try to get better with that next time. And uh, I will see you guys in part one of Let's Play Majora's Mask. Take care, everyone.